Hi everyone, in this video, we will discuss how we have to calculate sample size because number of my viewers and number of my research scholars, they said, ma'am, how we have to calculate sample size. That's the most important. So just because of this, I am preparing this video and uh, that would be, I'm sure would be helpful to all the research scholars. Those are pursuing their research and how we have to calculate sample size. So there is in this video, we are going to discuss two things. One is when your population is known and another case your when population is unknown so let me start this video uh, this one is the sample size and uh, q1 this one is the first question what we have to finish in this video till the end of this video what is sample second one is basic characteristics of sample and uh, third one is how to calculate sample size when population is unknown and last one is the how to calculate when population is known. So one by one, we have to find out the solution of all the questions. This is sample size. What do you mean by sample? Uh, basically, sample is a subset of a large population uh, because uh, it is a very costly affair when you are going to, to take some characteristics of a complete population, it's not possible. So what we are doing, we have to take a small portion we can call it a subset of that large population. But this is a very important question that sample size, what should be the number of this sample? If it is too less, then your results would not be uh, correct and that would be biased results. And it is too large, so what would happen? That is a very costly affair and uh, it is no use right uh, you are going for a large sample so what is adequate sample size we will decide here only so the use of sample allows researchers to conduct their studies and more manageable data and in a timely manner so randomly drawn sample do not have much bias if they are large enough as we know uh, the sample size is large then that would be more accurate. That would not be biased. Next, we come to the uh, basic characteristics of sample. Let's say number one is population size, all the items that can be considered for the study, uh, each and every item. Then is the confidence interval that we can call it margin of error. And uh, statistical inference about the confidence of what number shows the actual reflection of the population. And uh, confidence level when we talk about, so generally most popular, those are falling in three categories, 90%, 95%, and 99% confidence interval. So let me explain you in the next slide. And standard deviation, it covers the variance in the survey. A safe number is to be considered at 0 0.5 mean sample has that has to be large. I'm sorry, this is a little bit mistake. This one is the, has to be, would be, has to be large, right. So after this, when we talk about, this is, these are the critical values of Z and levels of the confidence we understand. This is the, I had already discussed when we are talking about the 90%, 95%, right 99 percent so what would be the z value right what would be the value this one is the 95 percent 1.96 right and uh, 98 percent 2.32 and uh, 99 percent 2.5 and uh, this one is the 0 0.80 1.2 you can see this is the acceptance area and this is the rejection area and this is the two tailed so just because of this alpha by 2 and alpha by 2 and uh, here is suppose we are talking about 0.95 so this area is 0 0.025 and this is again 0 0.025 right let me take my laser right this is the 0 0.025 and this is again 0 0.025 right and uh, value of this 1.96, that is the value of Z. Next, we come to the population is when we talk about the population is unknown. 
that is the co current 1963. That is the reference from where I have taken this formula. N0 equal to Z square PQ divided by small e square. That means what are these things? If we talk about, right? N0 sample size, Z is critical value, P is estimated proportion of an attribute and Q is one minus P and E is margin of error. So when we want to calculate this population, when the population is unknown, we are not aware what is the population size. So we will apply this formula. So Z is square, let's say we are going to take at the 95% confidence level, right? And uh, this would be the, if we talk about the Z value of the Z 1.96, that is the whole square and 0.5, that is the P value and Q is one minus point, uh, P. So that would again 0.5 and uh, E square, that means we are taking right 0.05% error, right? If we talk about, let's see, here is, we talk about, Standard deviation, it covers variance in the survey, a safe number that is considered at 0 0.5. So now what we have to do, right? My sample size is 385. But we talk about, when we talk about this particular thing, population is known, right? When the population size known, that is M in 1967, this reference I had used, this is the formula has been given by M in, 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 in the year 1967, N0 equal to capital N divided by 1 plus N E square. N is size of population because in this case, we are aware what is the population size and N is the sample size and E margin of error and N0 equal to, let's say my sample size is 6,000. And I want to know what should be the adequate sample size. So this one is the, sorry, population size. So that is the 6,000. I want to know what could be adequate sample size. So I will put all these values in this formula, right? And uh, you can see here, And we come to the 6,000, right? First of all, 6,000 divided by 1 plus 6,000 multiplied by 0 0.05 square, right? These are the values. And when we have to put all these values in this, so now my adequate sample size is 375 is sufficient uh, for the sample, is sufficient to know the characteristics of this population. So I'm sure. Uh, this video will be helpful to you and uh, you will apply this on your sample, on your uh, data set, on your questionnaire. And one more thing I would like to say in the strict equation modeling and other sort of the uh, other sort of uh, tools you are going to apply. So this is the thumb rule. When we have those are the number, how many statements we have, right? Whatever the items or statements or variables, those are these. So multiplied by 20, multiplied by 20. Let's say you have 10 statements. So multiplied by 20. So that means we are saying 200 sample size is sufficient. But if sometimes what happened, you do not have that much of sample. So 10% is also that also acceptable. So what we have to do, let's say 10, 10 statements and multiplied by 10, then 100 sample size is also good enough. So I'm sure this video will be helpful. And uh, I'm sure keep watching. And in the next video, I'm going to continue our studio once again with the statistical analysis. 